Well, hello there, folks. It's the episode you've all been waiting for. The one and a half hour special episode this weekend. Uh, what I'll be doing is I've installed a lot of mods, so we'll be going ahead and trying at least some of them out once we get enough money, because right now we're extremely dirt poor. Before we have a look at what mods I've installed, let's go ahead and just assign out all our workers onto some missions. This guy should be okay, because the game doesn't really realize the longer thirds of these headers. Let's go to this guy. Let's just get out of here and run through the wheat. I still haven't found any really good crop mods that uh, give you more crops. That would be really good to have. But, uh, yeah. We've got some new machinery. Some Scania, some, I think, Man, some... Uh, some really weird trucking companies as well that I haven't heard of, but the only companies that are into trucking that I've heard of are the ones in Euro Truck Simulator 2. So you'll have to excuse me if I'm a bit of, bit of a noob. I want you guys. Okay, you're over here. Now, yes, I want you. Yes, yeah, so supposedly, actually, you know what? I should actually run over there and just move all those, all that machinery out, and I could use my mod. Uh, what do we press for? Isn't it Control C or V? All oh, right, I installed. Oh, damn it, I installed that mod because I was doing that mod modding uh, episode video. Oh well. So we're gonna have to tab our way through vehicles. I don't have that grouping mod selected right now which brings me great sadness but what I'll have to do is move you out of the way so yeah when you grow sugar beets uh, it, there is a glitch that when you sow a new field there's lots of hay that comes up I, so I thought this was just the hay that was left over but from other fields but this is actually a glitch I've well I've noticed and I've been reading that is a glitch so hopefully that gets fixed it's sort of almost like a cheat it's just really annoying because I don't want to go ahead and windrow everything and all that. Uh, so, now I should go over to this guy. Let's just run. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with running, but let's go ahead and do that. We're going to need to bring our trailer over to the uh, Bali cutters very soon. So, yeah, that is a big problem. All this hay everywhere. So, we're going to have to bring our baler in and we're going to have a crap load of bales. <laughs> So back to where it is. Still got those texturing problems. I think it's got something to do with the glitch after you grow sugar beets. Oh no, these are potatoes though. Maybe, did we grow sugar beets here before? I wouldn't be surprised if we did. I can't remember, but yeah, this is a bit of a problem. Uh, anyway. Oh, you guys are stuck. Okay, you guys are fighting over each other, so let's turn it on. We're in the negative money now. That's not really too much of a hassle. Okay, we pretty much got everything. Turn it off. And off we go driving. Okay, that guy stopped as well. So they're basically above the 80s, so that means they've got the arms out. Let's go ahead and do all this first. We're going to have to do so much manually. If I so choose to, of course, but... I do want to get rid of all this hay. It is kind of really annoying. Let's see what other crops we should grow. Oh, no. Put your arms out. What do we have much of? We're growing wheat on the other field. Maybe some corn? Yeah, I think some corn. Corn should be good. So I don't really have anything in mind for this episode. We're just going to be doing things that will just come up along the way. Probably like harvesting fields and all that stuff. Oh yes, and thank you for telling me how to rotate uh, different sheds. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money for a shed right now, but as soon as we do, I'll probably go ahead and buy one. So no problems there. Let's just get these guys out of the way first. So I can have a nice clean field, so I can do my work on it. Okay, there goes that guy. This schloofer is doing absolutely nothing. Talking about schloofers, I've got a lot of trucks now that are very similar to the schloofers. They're all really bulky. I love the bulky tractors. You don't have to have weights at front, up at the front. So we're going to have to bring over that... Yeah, we're going to have to bring that sower over onto this field if we want corn. First world problems. I want to find a seller that's a lot larger, that does corn and sugar beets. Still haven't found one yet. Then again, the mods are only just starting to really ramp up right now. 
Oh, you guys also left a little bit over here. I'm gonna have to send that guy over there. Let's get out of here and go to this harvester. And I'll tell him to get to work over on this little section. He's completely neglected. What's that over there in like the fire off? Oh, okay, it's a hay bale. Yes, I know. I need to clean up these hay bales. We'll go and do that soon. Once I actually go ahead and uh, take all of this hay, it's just rows. Of, it's not even rows. It's just stacked hay, just everywhere. It's not really game breaking, but it is kind of annoying. So you guys are just doing your own thing. Okay, I think it's time to go ahead and get you to do your own thing. Uh, in the meantime, this guy stopped. So we're gonna have to reverse because we're definitely gonna hit that tree. I'm surprised our workers still accept uh, when we hire them, <laughs> even though we're in ne the negative territory with money. There we go, good job. And back to some more windrowing. So we gotta turn it on. Okay. And all this really consists of is just driving straight forward. Pretty simple, really. Let's just zoom out a bit. So we can have a good idea of what's happening. It shouldn't really last that long to windrow this whole field anyway. Now we got to bail it, and then you got to auto bail it. Such a hassle. And to be honest, it's not really even that necessary. This is all this field fertilized. I did not fertilize this at all. So. Not exactly sure what all that's about. Unless it isn't fertilized. This looks, no, I'd actually, it's probably not fertilized. What am I talking about? But first, let's windrow this field. And then, and, oh well, we need to wait up until our sower gets done. Did you really hit a tree? Is that how large you are, really? Yep. There's nothing we can do. We can't drive forward. Let's unhire the worker. Okay. Nope. All right. There we go. And back to the windrow. Turn it back on. Try to drive in a straight line. As hard as that is for me. Put in your top 1252 multifast. Must be some wind drawing technology, something patented. Like, I've never actually seen a machine like this. It'd be something interesting to type in onto YouTube for me. How a wind drawer works in real life. So, I've seen a couple of the trucking like farming videos on YouTube these machines are actually very realistic they're pretty I can see why the, this game appeals so much to real farmers because these vehicles are all based in real models oh, and you get stuck again why do you have to be so big yeah you should stop soon we should reverse first Go. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Yes. Success. No. Hello. There we go. And so he continues. I have already done this set. Okay, I guess I've already done that. That's why he's just stopping. Just that it hasn't changed the color. Yeah, that is a pretty big bug. I don't like it. Just with all the hay. I know there'll be someone saying that that's the hay left over from previous fields. It's not. It's a bug. It's actually, it was a one of my videos a bit earlier. Oh, something's happening. Let's. Okay, we're probably gonna have a big patch of just nothingness. There's not much we'll be able to do about that though, apart from drive over there. 
Okay, so our sower over on the far field, the very new field, it's almost all done. In the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and do my own thing here. They've really tried to focus on the sun this game. Like, that's the main feature. The game was never this prominent in the previous games. At least I don't remember it, especially in Dawn. Okay, there's the second section. See, they just go out in sections. It's just really weird. Hopefully, it's not going to be permanent bugs as well. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the game save as well. I know there's been a couple of you guys that have been downloading them and testing them out. You're free to use them in your Let's Plays or whatever. You don't even need to ask me, whatever. Especially if you want to just use it for personal use. I could, couldn't care less. I'm happy for you guys to use it. I would be angry if you use it. Obviously, that's why I upload it. So you guys can use it. For whatever your reasons. So I do realize not everyone can spend as much time as I can on uh, this game. Not everyone has the patience. I just love building things up right from the start. And of course, there's another issue that I should address. Is that just because you want a farming simulator and I don't post it up, doesn't mean you should go commenting rude things on other videos. Because that just makes me want to stop playing Farming Simulator. I just, it just, just doesn't make me want to make videos for you. If you're just going to be a massive asshole in the comments and just obliterate anyone and everyone that likes different games, and I'm just going to stop Farming Simulator. But I do know that's only a very small minority of people. There's some immature people. But of course, I can't really talk about immaturity because I'm still a little kid myself at heart. In the meantime, though, we're losing money pretty quick, but as soon as we speed up time, we'll just make that all back up. Okay, well, it's taking quite a while, but it should give us a lot of bales. I'm really interested to see how many bales it'll give us. Okay, so that sower's done. I'm talking about sowers. There's another guy that should be done. This guy, there we go. So, another thing that I want to try to do at least is maybe join these two fields up this episode. Is it going to rain today? It's almost like it got dark. I guess that this is where the sun goes up, obviously, so it's a little bit brighter. So, that's why. That's that. Let's start all the way over on the far side of the field, right over there. Keep on driving. And we want to select corn. Maybe if there will be a great demand, I haven't checked if there'll be a great demand, but if there is, we'll get the Crone Beak X uh, corn chaff cutter, chaff cutter, whatever you want to call it. Maybe. I think the more pressing issue is the separate field right next to the one that we planted sugar beets on, as well as a grass cutter. I really want to get that massive grass cutter, to be honest. I think it'd be so much fun. So satisfying just to cut grass like a hot knife through butter. Ah, uh, problems, problems, problems. Right, stop, 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 stop. There we go. We gotta cultivate first, don't we? So let's go put this into our. Can we fold this? Yes, we can. Let's go put this into our garage. Or one of our sheds. Got a bit off road at the same time. Do you have a space over here? No, we don't. I love this because it's literally just attached to your um, tractor, so it's not like it's a trailer behind you flailing about. Because that can get annoying. So corn makes it so difficult for us, for ourselves at least, but oh well. Not much we can do apart from attach this, or at least attempt to. The Horse Tiger 6MT. Brutal machine that is. 
I'll just check how many potatoes we've got. I want to see. I want to enjoy large numbers. 350,000. Wow. Wow. So they, on a good day, they sell for about $1,000 a ton. So that's an easy 350,000. Although the downside is it's a lot of delivery. Then again, it's only about three in our massive trailer train, but still. Yeah, okay, so off we go. You're get oh right, you're gonna get rid of all that stuff, aren't you? Ah, first world problems. Wait, do you get rid of the straw? No, you don't. Let's just test it out. I'm gonna drive over here. Lower this. Oh, he does, he does, he does. Ah, problems, problems, problems. Alright, so instead of sewing, we're gonna have to... Wait it out a little bit. No, I'll just leave this here. This attachment. And we'll get the impaler over onto you pronto. I'm gonna have to do a lot of this manually. But I do know bailing is a section that many of you guys do enjoy. Uh, but firstly, let's just windrow. Let's let's get the one field done first. Priorities, people, priorities. Let's move you out of the way. I'll put you onto the road. And I still haven't checked what mods I've installed have I <laughs> haven't shown you guys. There's some really large mods. I downloaded a couple of packs, so they're about 100 megabytes each. So all in all, I've got about 500 megabytes of patches or mods. Let's go ahead and check it out. So I did mods by machine type. Let's start off with tractors. I downloaded this tractor because it seemed really interesting. <laughs> like, imagine putting your wool bales in front of you so you can't see anything. I just thought that'd be funny. Uh, how so we got that? Tippers, okay. So these came in a pack with uh, Scania vehicles. That I guess they're in a different section. So these are just the tippers that you can attach. You have your, just your typical, one, typical ones like that, just with your hatch. And then we have a trailer. Shows you the capacity. None of them are really too good, but the glory of these ones are that if we go over to, I think it's in miscellaneous. Yeah, over here, the Scania tracks, trucks, they actually join up. So you have two types of uh, tippers, pretty much. So you join them up. Let's go back to wherever we were. Tippers, okay. Then I downloaded a second pack for silage. They're all pretty small, but we might get some of them. They do look quite interesting. I do love the art style that models have. They just look very cool. Got some cultivators. This is a massive cultivator. I can't remember how large it is, but it just spreads out. I saw a picture of it. It looks really good. So that's something we could work on. Uh, after all, none of the cultivators are really that big anyway. Uh, this machine was just a, uh, clearly it's a bit of a dodgy mod. It's just a really large thing. I didn't even know what it's supposed to be. So forget that. Uh, the BMW we've seen, these are the tractors or trucks. So we've got a couple of man mods. And then of course the Scania, which we just went over. They're a lot cheaper <laughs> than they probably should be. But these man mods look interesting. I think they're direct copies from ATS, the models. And I think that's it really. I thought I installed a little bit more, I'm not exactly sure. Oh yeah, we got, oh, was that a water tank that I installed? Okay, I thought it was a fertilizer tank. But, um, yeah, I think that's about it that we've installed in mods. It was a couple, good couple megabytes, though. Anyway, back to windrowing this field. So, yeah, some of the Scani guys look a bit interesting. I'm going to have to move you out of the way, won't I? Okay, yeah, back to here. I really wish this wasn't a thing that we had to do. Oh well. I still don't have to do it, but I'd rather do it. 
get rid of all this hay, get some hay bales. More than enough. The best thing about hay bales is that they don't expire really, so. At least in this game is what I want to get at. So they're pretty good forever. We'll only need to make one more round trip. So that's not going to be a hassle. Then we can start bailing. And then we'll have to get the auto bailer. Auto bailer is probably the most fun though. Bailing is also pretty good. But yeah, I do want to go ahead and get every single of the original machines that are in this game. None of the mods. Like, I would want to get some of the mods, but not all of them. That I've installed. Then we're going to have to make more than a round trip. I'm driving like an absolute drunk maniac. Actually, no, that should be good enough. It is the beginning that's a little bit weird. Okay, and off we go. Let's fold this, because I know you purists like it when I do things realistically, at least. Don't really drive too realistically, but... Hate is gonna hate, potato is gonna potato. Oh, I don't think we've ever actually been inside this tractor. Looks pretty much the same as all the other ones though. So let's get out of here. There's gonna be a heck of a lot of stuff to do though. First world problems. So much of it. What were they thinking? Hmm. Should I? You know what? I don't really care about all this hay. It's going to get, get ridden of anyway. What I wouldn't mind is the $100,000 so we can get a much faster cultivator, but... Oh, well. Yeah. On second thoughts, this is just too much straw just to handle. So we'll get a couple of our cultivators and machines and tractors to start cultivating this field so it happens twice or three times as quick even. Okay, there we go. That's good. It's gonna do its own thing. You guys are all just sitting and chilling back. You. Okay, let's go and dump this over into our silo. Thankfully, it stopped just before we got up to 6,000. Oh, wait, this guy. I mean, 61,000. Well, yeah, this guy's gonna be full. Because we've still got 17% barley in that. Harvester over there. I'm gonna have to get rid of that sooner or later. Okay, so we're delivering that. You guys are doing absolutely crapola. Oh, you know what? Let's go and deliver this uh, sheep bailing stuffer over to where we need to deliver it. You gotta love this tractor that's got so many good things about it. It's quick. It's got its thing at the back. I'm gonna have to there we go. Do that. I'll say this transport is rather good. It doesn't really glitch about all that much, because that would be rather painful if it did. But this should be about a good how much do they sell for? I think they sold for five thousand dollars a pop. A full bale full. Or pallet full I should say, because a bale is one of these things and a pallet is six of them. That makes sense. Let's try to drive at least on the road so we don't crash to all too much. It's all these small fields. I just really think they're a waste. What I have seen though, I some of you guys wanted me to do some map mods, but of course I can't do map mods because that would reset, well, I'd have to start a new Let's Play. It'd pretty much reset everything. So I can do a mod video on them, 
We're just specifically just showcasing it. If that's what some of you guys want, then maybe that's something I could think of. I'm not, not going to guarantee anything, but it could be something that I could do. Well, I know in this Let's Play, though. Because I do love ha Hagenstad, Hagenstad, however you say it. Wherever it even is. I think it's in Germany. So now, home lights, there we go. So we're at minus a thousand. Oh wow, yeah, it's ten thousand dollars a uh, pallet. Yeah, sheep are definitely good to invest in. I really like sheep. Anyway, back to you. You are doing absolutely nothing. So we're gonna have to drop this over into one of our garages. For all you guys that want me to store stuff properly, let's no, that's where our cultivator goes. I'm just going to put him back here. I'm actually kind of worried how long this will take to render out and upload as well. <laughs> Hopefully you guys get this today. On the day that I want it to be uploaded. Which is a Sunday in Australia, so it'll be probably Saturday night in America. And continental Europe. Now, we want to get the auto bailer. No, we don't. We haven't even bailed yet. Let's get it out of here pronto and go to the square baler, which is the only baler that you should ever get. Uh, in the meantime, let's go to another tractor. And this guy? Yeah, let's go this guy. Because I want to cut down on the time, I want to get another cultivator to go ahead and work a little bit more. Okay, so I'll start this guy out on the other side of the field. Oh, the game's lagging up a little bit. I've noticed that it was my wireless connection. I don't know, my wireless router has seemed to poop itself a little bit. Never really been a fan of wireless internet anyway. Personally, I like wired so much better because it's so much more reliable. Alright, so we are going to set you on to work. Go. Bye bye, hey. I don't really care about you anymore. Uh, sh shift back. There we go. So now you go for the auto bailer. You have another tractor just laying about. I think I'll have to do something with him. I don't have enough money for that really good cultivator though, so I'm probably not going to get that. And I don't really want to sell anything. Probably say these sell these hay bales, but let's turn this on. Yeah, whatever. I'm going too fast. Doesn't really bother me because we're not trying to bail anything just yet. Okay, and off we go. Sounds like a steam train. so much easier to actually bail when you go in first person mode, you just put your nose in where the line is. You're pretty much all set. Let's check the prices for anything. Uh, canola, should check that. 1714, okay. I don't think there'll be a great demand for canola anytime soon, but so um, I do want to sell that. I want to make a bit of money. Because I want to buy some more things. I wouldn't be surprised if a great demand hit us. I think I need to speed up time a little bit for that to happen. And yeah. So I've got wheat sown over here. I've got to remember that because I'm probably going to forget.
just falls out. Ah, funny stuff. Alright. Gonna have to make a fair few couple of uh, traversals over this field. Uh, I should check how my cultivators are doing. I think they should be doing okay. They shouldn't be get, getting stuck in trees. Maybe that quad track is. The other little red guy, he's good because he's so nimble. Right, let's go check on him. Okay, you're doing quite well. Oh, yeah, doing also, also quite decently. You left a little bit. I wonder if he keeps on going. No, he stops. That's good. Alright, so I'm going to tell you to just to start over there now. Okay, off we go, people. Yet again, for another couple of goes. I don't think this is going to last as long as we thought, because they're doing it quite quickly, especially that quad track. I just want money for that really good cultivator. That would be perfect. But we've got to wait up a little bit yet. And this guy is doing absolutely nothing, and he doesn't really have to be set up on anything that does he either. What should we sow on that field? Let's check. What do we have? much of uh, so we're, we're growing wheat I'm tempted to get some more wheat uh, but we wanted corn yeah we don't have much corn so we'll go for corn right. back to bailing it is with our steam baler Want to make that big money? Please let me make it soon. I think that's almost enough for one full auto bailer full as well. I think that takes, I think it's like 18? Two rows of nine? No, nine. No, two columns of nine. That's what we wanted to say. Or at least a number like that. Maybe it's 16 or something. 18, 16. Let's check the weather. Oh, no, it's all sunny. Oh, I don't think we're going to be playing for seven days though. And after all, this is all randomly generated, so it's going to take us uh, a little while until we get to <laughs> the seven days. I don't think we'll get there today. We could play in super fast mode all the time, but then our crops would die out. We don't like that, so we're going to play extremely slowly. First half an hour of this episode has all been <laughs> at uh, dawn, so far at least. Then we're going to go ahead and seed that uh, other massive field with some corn it's gonna take us quite a while especially because those sowers don't cul uh, yeah they don't cultivate themselves what else is there I've seen snow but I've never actually seen snow in the game it just says like snow maybe it's hail or something like a little image with a cloud and a couple of white dots. Yeah, it's probably hail. It's just probably heavy rain. There's a lot of hay bales as well. A bit too much, if you ask me. Gonna have to go fertilize everything. At least you get to see how real farming is done. From A to Z. Beginning to end. There's that little patch. We probably could do something about it. Yeah. We can wait. Trying to count how many rays we've went over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we've gone by eight rows so far. We've got 
One, two, three, four, five. About five left. If you include this, it's six. So, we're over halfway done. And the way I counted the rows is just by the lines of bales. Because you at least do one bale per row. Usually it's around two. Okay, well, bailing to be honest is a bit of a waste as well. I do know that I do love doing it, and we're doing a lot of it right now, but it doesn't really sell all too well. There's like lots, lots of better things you could spend money on, and your time on, instead of bailing. But alas, as I say that, here we are, bailing this whole field. Also, I have tried to go up these telephone poles. You almost can. I don't think you can get up to the very top, but you can get really close to it. We'll try that a little bit later on. Well, once we get way bored with the hour and a half. <laughs> but you guys want it, so we'll, I'll give it to you guys. Although from now on, I will be doing one episode a day. It probably won't be the two that I've tried to attempt to do. It'll probably be one episode a day from now on. Uh, some days I might not even upload any farming simulator. You guys have to understand that. And if not, then feel free to unsubscribe. But, yeah, farming simulator's been out for a whole month now. Which, that month seems to have gone by so quickly. It's going to be, like, well past Christmas. <laughs> this time next month as well. Which is also even crazy to think about. So yeah, a full month this game's already been out. Wow, that is crazy. Really, really crazy. So finally, we're done. Almost. We just need to make one more round trip. And that is going to be it. Then we can start bailing, then we can fertilize this field finally. Not bailing, but auto bailing. Collect it all up. What's that machine called, actually? I should check. We don't want sales, we want to go... Yeah, we can get it owned. It's not very organized though, is it? Um, well, we own a lot of stuff, I've never actually noticed. The auto stack, righto. Wow, we just own so much stuff, wow. There's a lot. Just takes like a good 30 seconds to scroll through it all. It's a bit of an exaggeration, but you guys know, get what I mean. I want to do tr try out to uh, change the render distance because it's starting to get really weird now because it shows like there's grass everywhere. You guys can see. Like over there on the far side, it just shows that it's all grass. But of course we all know it's not. Just really disheartening to see that you've got grass on half your field. Alright, let's turn it off. We're going to have to store this back up probably. Let's store it next to the fertilizer. That's good enough. All right, so where is the auto stack? I think it's already in here. Yeah, most probably would be. Thankfully, I parked it just correctly for easy access. But knowing me, I probably would have tried to park it like facing the wall, the hitch facing the wall at least. Wow, this guy can barely reverse properly. At least because of the weight at the front. It's a bit overpowering. Okay, we go outside of that uh, wall. 628 now, it seems like it's almost brighter. Let's put it into the operating position so I can start working it immediately. 
And off we go. I think we'll have to do about three trips full of this auto stacker. Probably three extremely long trips if this is the start of things to come. Yeah. It must be quite challenging to do this. I guess you have side mirrors, but doing this in real life, it must be quite the challenge. And of course, in this game, we do have the luxury to zoom out and in and all that type of stuff, going to third person mode, which is the way we play most of the game. There's also a couple of different maps that have uh, taken a spin on Hagenstad and just try to make it better. Like moving some of the things uh, like the cow pastures and I think that's what they've tried to do. I haven't really taken too much of a close look at them. But they do seem interesting. I'd love to know if you could possibly... Because what I think you could do is you could install the map mod and make the game think that it's your original map and probably all your vehicles would spawn in the same coordinates. Hopefully there won't be any buildings at the coordinates where you have your building, where you have your vehicles at the time, but I think that's a good idea. Like making the game think that a uh, map is the original one. So everything's pretty much the same. Apart from maybe crop growth. As there's also some flats maps, which seem really good. Uh, are we all done? No, we can get two more. Fantastic. Actually, I think we only might have to do two round trips. Okay, let's get it in the unloading position now. So once it's all lifted up, it'll work out perfectly. We just have to drive off. Do the bell? Yeah, the bells go through the other bells. I think they're stuck for good. All right, uh, and unload bells here. There we go. You never really make all that much money. Goddamn fork! Get out of the way. Making me crash into everything. I blame you. Right, so we are already in the operating position, so it's just time to drive. Yeah, I think this should be just perfect. Hopefully we don't have to make another trip. Oh, so it collects 20. Right know. Actually, maybe it doesn't. Okay, it's already 2 and it's 11%. What the hell? 16%. be able to speed up time. I gotta fertilize these fields once um, we finish this. And that's we, we're gonna do that manually. I should go check up on our cultivators though. I'm sure they'll be almost all done. Right, so this was only one and a half. Hopefully the rendering out doesn't really show that it lags. It just lags up in one certain spot. And I know that why that is. It's because like the wireless connection drops out. I don't know why that is. It's really annoying. Probably need to update my uh, wireless drivers and stuff like that. Probably would be the smart thing to do. But I have been trying to buy a new computer, or at least looking at it. I want to make it myself, because that's the whole fun of uh, making a computer, like getting a computer for me at least, is building it. But I want to make it water-cooled, and I have never done that. So I've got no idea. I've got to watch some YouTube videos. work for YouTube I wouldn't be able to do half the stuff like in this game anyway like feeding cows is almost impossible for me without 
a YouTube video to tell you how to do it. I'm sure lots of you guys like use my walkthroughs as well to, especially of this game, to know exactly what does what, what type of machinery does what, because the game doesn't really do too good of a job explaining to you. We're on 35 grand, which is a fair amount of money. Let's go tab our way to these guys. Very nice. We're almost all done. Okay, so I think it's time to go and see. I'll tell you to go to work. Right now. Where is a vehicle that is ready to seed? Okay, I see what we'll do. Excuse all the tabbing. Wait, I'm just going around in circles now. I want, no. Where is the guy that I want? There he is. Okay. Just going around in circles over and over again. I want to go to the corn and sugar beet saw, which I, no, I'll put it back into, see, that's the good thing about having a mess. When I have a mess, I know exactly where everything is. But when I try to clean up, I just forget it. And so the sugar beet saw should be somewhere over here, in the corn one. There it is. Oh, I wanted to trip over. That's no fair. Now, hopefully my voice is going to be all okay this episode as well. It'll be a bit bad if it's an hour and a half and the voice isn't good. Like, it's a bit echoey, as some of you guys have been saying. I think I've uh, gotten uh, and, well, solved that problem, gotten rid of it. Let's just unfold this. We have corn selected, so we are going to be sowing corn, thankfully. Like, uh, hopefully we don't fail like last time where I said I was going to sow sugar beets and I was sowing corn instead, but that worked out all okay anyway. Uh, now, what are you doing? You don't need to do anything. So I'm going to disattach that. Actually, no. I'm going to put it back in its proper place. Is it a hay bale? How, how did the hay bales get over there? I have noticed that some of the hay bales have a mind of their own and they just move about randomly. Pretty annoying, but... Oh, don't tell me we're stuck. We cannot be serious. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Now I lost my uh, reversing skills. We're doing so good. Alright, that's good enough. We can push it, of course, with one of our harvesters out of the way. Anyway, trying to get some fertilizer. I think I might have to refill it up as well. Okay. Uh, what I want to do as well is just check out how many of these sowers do I have. No, no, I want this. Sewing machines, there we go. I own two. Okay, so I've got to find the other one. So I can uh, at least double the speed on that field. It's not going to be seen. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. It is to be seen. Uh, where do I have one of my spare vehicles? They've got to be somewhere. I'll just do this first up. And actually, no, I can't because we've only got 18% of this full. So while this is refilling, let's ooh, tab our way to victory. You guys are all stuck. Okay. You know what? I'll select the small red one. There we go. No, don't you get in the way. Thank you. You gotta love that red check that does like a lot of damage to the big guy. Alright, let's just finish this off. Yeah, and the uh, 
But corn and the, well, the sole that we want is really good for the smaller tractors, so that's why we use that. Let's just cut these little bits off as well while we're at it. Okay, lift it up, drive quick, and also I'll do this little section. Okay. So, you're doing a good job. Let's go to our fertilizer. There he is. So, we can go and fertilize properly. Still haven't installed that mod where you can control the manual speeds itself though. Would be something good to check out. So I do have to write it down to remember. Okay, and off we go. I'd love to see the viewer attention on this video as well. Probably most of you guys have dropped off already. And most of you guys were were wanting to see a longer episode, but it's always funny seeing the video retention. I only get like after the first 15 or so minutes, halfway through the video, half of you guys have dropped off already. It's always interesting to see. But I guess that's normal for every YouTube video. It's pretty interesting. Or at least the ones that are similar lengths to me. YouTube's gone really crazy over viewer attention. So the, you get rewarded for the longer you watch. You, know, you get higher search ratings and all that stuff. Which is why you might see some of the much bigger commentators, like, oh, they're such view whores, it is ridiculous. Oh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the bigger commentators, say Tetra Ninja, uh, he's, I've seen his, I wanted to do Family Guy, I think I mentioned in a previous farming ep simulator episode, but I had to wait uh, until this one guy at Mishima would get back to me with the embargo, but Tetra Ninja just posted it up right away because there's a smaller game, with smaller games, the uh, companies aren't really that anal about copyright and all that stuff, so... Anyway, Tetra Ninja, what he does is he... Is he... The first episode, which... Oh, why did I press Q? Q's just so close to W. Let's turn it back on. Yeah, but with the... Oh, come on, no, 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 no. Are you tell, seriously going to tell me that spun around so much? You are kidding me. Now how am I going to get my poor little baby barrel? No! No! Well, that was unnecessary. Completely. Go on, attach, 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 attach. No! Which way do I have to come around now? Oh, this is just ridiculous! Not fun, not fun, not fun. Let's try to drive forward. Spin it around. But yeah, as I was mentioning, what the top walkthrough guys are doing now is because of viewer retention gets rewarded so much and the first episode in the Let's Play is just so important uh, to the series. It's what gets the most views and obviously it's what gets people looking at the game, subscribing and all that. So <laughs> what they do is they make the first episode about half an hour long to get good viewer attention, so they come up in search on the uh, Y, oh, select G, there we go. Uh, so they come up first on the search results with the half an hour long video of the first episode. And then every episode after that, it's like nine minutes. <laughs> oh, that's that's amusing. They do know how to game the system. It's, it's pretty funny and like, it's always entertaining and amusing to listen to people like White Boy 7th Street and the hypocrisy. Back in the good old days, probably most of you guys probably haven't been on YouTube for this long, but in the good old days, when there was this really old homepage, it was pretty good as well. Like you, ha you had your homepage and it sorted out the best videos in certain categories. So what they used to do is by gaming the system is they used to put Call of Duty videos and to get on the homepage, it was like entertainment, gaming, I don't know, cats and animals and uh, animals and pets, sorry. And like beauty and all that stuff, all the different uh, 
things that you can choose on YouTube to watch, all the different categories. So they used to put their Call of Duty videos into cats and, no, not cats and animals, but pets and animals. <laughs> Just so they'd be able to get on the homepage. But it was like Call of Duty, they'd be talking about something completely different, like Claymore Killers or something. <laughs> and they put it in cats and, what else they keep on can saying cats? I've been playing for too long, that is my problem. I'm already about an hour into this and I'm getting stuck like crazy. Come on, you shouldn't be getting stuck. There we go. They're such hypocrites, each and every one of them, though. But I guess there'll be some butthurt fanboys in this video that can't accept the truth. Which is always great fun. Ghost Robo's got some good... <laughs> some good hardcore fans that are just blind to his uh, view whoring. I think most people have given up on Ghost Robo though. I think most people can see what it is for, yeah. His true colors come showing through. This is turning a massive bitch fest and I like it. I can let my stress go. Another thing that's been stressing me out is TGN. I've always hated TGN, like they've been a really, really bad network and they pretty much scam people that don't really too, know too much on the YouTube side of things that don't really follow all the network stuff and people that just really want a uh, partnership so they can get thumbnails and of course to get a little bit of money on the side but uh, yeah they don't really do too much research into TGN and TGN is the biggest scam network there is but before we get too much into that let's go and oh god it's like up again actually I want to attach you I'll fold you up Fold it up. There we go, we're folding up. And I'll go get the sugar beet. So, the other one that we've got. But yeah, back to TGN. They're just absolutely scamming people by saying that we pay out 100% of the money that we make as a company. We pay it all back to you. But TGN is actually a uh, smaller network. Uh, which is partnered or has a parent company called Broadband TV and Broadband TV is in Canada same as TGN where they're located and Broadband TV takes away well say you get your money for the videos and Broadband it actually goes all to Broadband TV but TGN says we pay out 100% of what we get so what happens is that Broadband TV gets like 60% of the commission and then they give 40% to TGN and then from that 40% here you, you get 100% so what TGN says is that we're the highest paying network we give off 100% of the money that we make but really you only get 40% of what you are supposed to make because broadband TV the uh, parent company takes it all hopefully I've explained that a little bit but that requires a whole video by itself I think I was actually thinking about doing an IRL video on that because it just grinds my gears. I just prey on little children. It's so not right. Of course, there's some other people that are uh, with TGN that are much older, and they pretty much all complain about TGN. They've realised, but I've always hated TGN. They've always been such a scam, and everyone sucks up to the uh, owners. Uh, yeah, the owner George. He's the biggest scammy artist there ever has been. But he's always so nice on video and he always pretends to... He always puts on an act. That's what it is. Anyway, enough of that. Let's unfold this. Let's throw you some corn. Get to work. Okay. Now we're going to have to move that cultivator out of the way. X to fold it. Okay. Well, now it's just time to go ahead and uh, sow this field and fertilize it. So as you can see, when you have so many fields everywhere, it does take a long, long time now just to do one thing at a time. It's taking this whole episode, we haven't even sown the whole field yet. Okay, I'm going to put you right next to the other cultivator.
Yeah, yeah I, was being, I was actually thinking about doing an IRL video about TGN. And I should disclaim that I am partnered with Machinima, but I've had my fair share of complaints with Machinima, but I actually vented on some of them on one of my older videos, on uh, Tropico it was. Good old Tropico. That should be coming back uh, next month, December. So yeah, I'm going to stop, well, stop doing the two videos a day. Just do one video a day of farming simulator. Some days there might not be any. So you guys have to be ready and understand that. Um, I don't think this guy's really going to be useful for anything right now. So let's get out of here. And instead of tabbing just to this guy, I'm going to run up there. Because it's probably going to end up being quicker. And it'll give you guys a bit less of a headache. So, oh, unfold this. Gonna have to do this whole field and all the side. Also, can't even talk now. We've been recording for so long. Surprised my mouth doesn't hurt yet. But what I have to go and do is we'll have to sow that sugar beet field as well. Thankfully, I do this lengthways now, which is so much quicker. Alrighty, now this guy should go up until the end of the field. We should do this in a couple of runs of the field, a couple of lengths. Thankfully that quad track ain't getting stuck for now. I don't think he will get stuck at all. He should be rather good because the field is rather straight in terms of the edges lengthways. It just gets really dodgy over here. Where I did my own job. I'm going to hit that. Oh, it actually goes through the worker as you do. Thankfully, this isn't realistic physics and all that. The glass was smashing like in a frostbite engine and stuff. That would be really cool, like damage to your machinery and equipment if you drive around like me, like an absolute idiot. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit of a while until they do their own thing. <laughs> it's still 6.51, or it's still 6 o'clock at least. No great demands yet, but of course that's only because we've been playing at 6 o'clock for all this time. I guess we must have started recording at 5, like 5.52 or whatever. Because we've been recording for about an hour. I do have Audacity open in my uh, dual monitor, on my second monitor, so I can see how much I've been recording and if the mic is still working and all that. Because I bought a... Uh, as I keep saying, uh, the PX5s, but they run wirelessly. And even if you connect the uh, USB uh, to the microphone, you'd think that the USB would be charging it, or even if it wasn't charging the batteries, you'd be able to go ahead and just use it, connect it directly to your PC. That still doesn't work. You need to have batteries inside, and it chews through the batteries. So I think the battery life is about 10 hours. Which is really only worth like a day because I just leave them on. I usually like leave music on as well. Just so when I come back on and listen to something. I'm going to have to stop this. And how are we going to do this exactly? Because he's driving pretty much where we want to drive. Let's drive to the left. Okay, that should work out. We'll miss a little bits and pieces, but what can you do? Oh, we hopefully we don't get stuck. Yep, we do get stuck. Alright. We'll have to drive with him. 
After all, that is a good amount of field not to fertilize. Or would you like a bigger yield? Okay, let's do the spinner. Let's turn it off. Yeah, off we go. All right. Yes, we got past you. Bastard, you can't stop me. Let's do the rest of this field. Well, a little tiny bit of it at least. And then we'll go over to that sugar beet field. We'll go do that. And I think I should be able to speed up time soon. Our sellers are doing a good job. Oh, don't tell me our quad track's stuck, is he? No. It seemed like he was stuck for a bit. I think he managed to wriggle his way out. Is it wriggle or wiggle? It's wiggle. What does wriggle mean? It means that they don't mean the same thing. Wriggle and wiggle. Yeah, this isn't going to take long at all. Probably two shots. If it does take two shots, then that's a good feel to have. Yeah. Especially once we join it up and make it a little bit longer as well. Because that field's got the same width. We'll have to make another third shot at it, but that's definitely going to be it. Yep. No problems there. And that's almost 100% of our tank as well. So you're going to need so many machines just to go ahead and uh, do everything on all these fields. So I've got three batches. So I, I see field 14, 15, and 16 as one batch. 17, 18, and 19 is the second one, and then 20 and 21 is the third one. Then what else would be nice is joining fields 22 and 23. I think, yeah, it's fields 22 and 23 could either be canola or corn. And then 7 can be canola or corn as well, because we've got the in, and then we've also got the biogas plants. Okay. That's good stuff. You can actually see right over the hill over there. And that is where the inn is. So maybe if I drove up to here with my trailers, it'd be so much quicker to yeah, jump off that cliff right there. It's perfect. Uh, how much did this field cost again? Jeez, that guy isn't tall, is he? So midget. Let's check this out. $47,000. Okay. You guys are doing quite well. You'll be ready soon. What else is going on? Not much. Just chilling back. Just chilling back. Which is cool. Let's keep folding this. Go back to our main farm. Put this back in its rightful spot. There's a milk truck. I guess it just stays there. Until it gets told to move by the computer AI. Okay, so we're not making that all that much money. I do want things to grow out as well, so... Yeah, we haven't made much money at all this episode, at all. So maybe it's time for me to go ahead and edit it a little bit out. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and sell some canola. I should check the price. What is the price for canola? 17 14 that is a good price. By the time we'll get there, it'll change as well. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll go for some canola, shouldn't I? Actually, I'll let you guys join me. We'll get the trailer train. So, oh. I know you guys are going to want me to store this properly, but... Yeah. We've been playing for too long. Yeah. Not going to happen. <laughs> Let's get the trailer train. See how much canola we've got first up. Uh, 50,000. Oh, okay, so we could sell canola and maybe something else. Maybe a bit of potatoes. I guarantee you, though, that our trailer train is probably going to get stuck. 
somewhere at least. Probably next to all these other trailers. Let's actually push it out of the way. Keep pushing it. There we go. That's good. Much better. Alright, so maybe... What about barley? How much is barley selling for? Uh, not much. Canola is still the way to go. Let's speed time up just a little bit so the next hour comes along. Ooh, yes. Barley is selling for... No, not barley, but canola is selling for a good price. And so, actually, so is barley. Alright. I think barley it will be then. Let's check how much barley we've got. 115,000 tons. That should be perfect. Let's fill all this up. I'll let you guys join in with me. So I can see how much our trailer train can actually hold. Right now, I think it's about 105,000 tons. Seems like we're good. We won't be getting stuck, hopefully. So it's going to be 70,000, 105,000, yep. Maths on the fly. So at this price, we should make, if it's 105,000, we should make over about 160,000. Something in that order. Maybe a little bit less. There should be enough money to go ahead and buy some new toys. Uh, I do want to get that mustard cultivator. I think that would be quite good to have. Although it's a mod, it could be a little bit buggy, but you never know. And I think we might have enough money as well for one of those Scania trucks. So you know what? I'll actually go edit this bit out where we go drive. Alrighty, so I went ahead and delivered everything and I was almost correct. We got about 150... Yeah, 57,000, because we weren't we at about 20,000 before. So, almost 160,000 as I had presumed, which is rather surprising that I would get something like that right. Uh, what I want to do is, if my mouse button will actually allow me to click, I need to invest a new mouse, that's what I need to get. Um, let's go to mods, mods, mods. Okay. Let's see what we can get. I don't want anything like this, no. Next, next. Actually, is this going to be easier? No. Okay, you can't use your arrows in the uh, in the shop, which is a bit annoying, but let's go look for some things that we want to get. No, I don't want to... Okay, don't go buy brands, mods, buy machine type. That's... Okay. This is going to be so much easier. So, let's go get the cultivator. Lemkin Gigant, $1,400 for $120,000. And I'll just buy that. Okay. I won't bore you by driving back. Oh, you guys are all done. Very nice. So let's tell you to stop. So H high worker. Stop your thing. No, you're gonna keep oh. why you have to make things so difficult for us. What? Okay. No, 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 You stop. Actually, should you stop? Yeah, you should definitely get rid of your ridge markers. I I think that's going to be good enough. All right. So, back to, go back to the quad track. Drive it back. Half our stuff has already grown. What about over there? Yep, it's grown out over there as well. So this should, shouldn't take all that long to grow out either. Just a little bit. That means our wheat's grown out. Let's fold this back up. Alright, so I guess the hour and a half episode has been worth it so far. We've been waiting for all this to grow out. We'll start harvesting stuff probably. I need to speed up time a fair bit. Okay, and let's spawn the new toy.
Uh oh. Alrighty, guys. Unfortunately, this is exactly why I do not record really long episodes because there's a heck of a lot to lose if you do. The stakes are so much higher. And uh, I did try to load up that mod, the one that we bought, the large cultivator. And unfortunately, it seems to have done goofed. Whatever it is, it's that really large one that I clicked on. And, um, yeah, the game didn't save. And the game crashed. And I checked my backups. And because there's no real good game auto save that this does, I sort of really lost everything. So we're back to where we started. So, I have to start, well, I'm not going to start over again. I'm going to go to everything, probably off screen. This puts a very big dampener on me. Yeah. That sucks. Not much I can really do about that now, but... Hmm. That's... That really hurts. So, unfortunately, that's going to put me off the mood for farming simulator for quite a while, I could imagine. But, um, yeah. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Hopefully there's something I can do. I don't think there really is, because this game is rather atrocious when it comes to saving. But... I'll see you guys later then, I guess. Thanks for the one and a half hour episode. Even though it hasn't really been actually an hour and a half, but it's still an hour and a half to me, damn it.